confusion and frustration encircle an Istanbul courtroom following a verdict on Monday against Turkish activist and philanthropist Osman Kavala. Kavala was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole, found guilty of attempting to overthrow the government of Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Following Monday's verdict, the US State Department said it was deeply troubled and disappointed. This is a case that has been years in the making and has sparked a growing diplomatic crisis. Kavala has been held in prison for four and a half years. Many world leaders condemned his prolonged detention and vague charges. Last year, Ankara threatened to expel 10 ambassadors, including those of the United States, France and Germany, after they called for Kavala's release. The Biden administration last year took aim at Turkey's human rights record, expressing concern over the country's handling of student protests, plans to disband a pro-Kurdish opposition party, and its decision to withdraw from a European convention aimed at protecting women. But some say the administration has recently scaled back on this criticism, as Washington looks to work with the country on Afghanistan and Russia's invasion of Ukraine. 